Remember when Nintendo and PSP said the future is just smaller CDs? Those idiots! Alright, let's try Druid. I actually like Overgrowth. I don't think the other two cards are all that powerful anyway. And a first pick Overgrowth gives you, you know, you could... You could uh, go towards the uh, more expensive cards, perhaps. Uh, Grove Tender's real bad. Soul's pretty bad. I guess we take Acolyte. I don't love the card, but... Uh, these are all bad. I guess we can take Force of Nature. I don't know. N not, none of them are what you want to draft, so... Mm, not ideal, but I guess South, South Sea is a little better if you're ramping and trying to find, uh, you know, we could take a big drop from them and maybe we're ahead on mana. This card sucks and this card sucks. I think this card's okay, but I don't really like it, but uh, we will go Carnival Clown here. It's a card to ramp into. There are 10 drops we can maybe find as well. Um, I guess Monk. Etten's pretty bad, I think. Uh, Nullifier's the worst card here. So, we'll take Monk. Scorpion? Oh, I mean, those aren't one drops I want. Scorpion's a good card. Uh, pretty easy Basilisk. Need cards to cost less than four. Is a second Rattagore uh, too much? I've run two Rattagores. That deck went 12. I can't remember what else was in it, but... I would run two Rattlegors. Sure. Uh, let's see. Maybe Archivist. There's not a lot of um, bad Druid hits. And we don't have any bad hits right now. So uh, Overgrowth's not good, but... I, I don't want Blistering Rot, and I don't want Druid of the Fang. So I think we take this and hope to get, you know... Even a Nature Studies, uh, Arbor Up, a Scenarion Ward. Those are good hits. Tree of Life, Full Heal, Survival Clowns, we could. Why does it seem like beasts are just bad compared to other card types? Um, I think the beasts are good. Depends what they, uh, which beasts. I think, I don't think there's a tribe that, um, stands out as being like a particular, I mean, maybe dragon right now, but dragon, there, there's not a lot of dragons relative to the other sets, I feel, or the other types. All right, starting now, we got to start fixing our curve. I think we take Wand Maker over Dirigible. Need twos. Another Druid of the Plains. Ay ay ay. Well, I'm glad we have Overgrowth, I guess. Another Wand Maker looks good to me. Yes, we're going Steward of the Scrolls. I don't think it's super strong in Druid, but I don't think either of these are either. So. Uh, Nourish is kind of cool. Do we actually want to Nourish? Scoundrel is not really solving our curve issues. Again, the problem is this guy hitting Nourish and drawing cards kind of doesn't do anything. Or, uh, sorry, ramping doesn't do anything. I'll take the Scoundrel, I guess. Protector? Oh my days. I mean, what am I doing? I can't take a death skim. Hey, Hercules. What's up, dude? Or to pass up the Grand Archivist Tree of Life combo. I do regret it. I do. It would have been a good uh, Primordial Protector hit, too. Alright, we'll take uh, Operative. I like Groundskeeper. But we need some cards that cost less than four. Uh, Germination? Is that? Ah, Germination's sick. Summon a copy of a friendly minion. Yeah, yeah, that's a good hit here. We have, like, the big Mac Daddy cards. We need more ramp, man. Partner assignment. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not taking these. Partner assignment's bad off of this, but this is like the most, one of the most important cards for us to hit in our mulligan, so we're gonna be hard mulling for this, so it should show up a fair amount. We're never throwing it back. Look, I can't, I can't take Hyena. <laughs> I can't. I can't, I gotta take Proto. What do you want from me? I need ramp. All right, here we go, here we go. Summoner. Mmm. Let's just take the uh, Thick Hide Kodo. This deck is a mess. Now you need the high cost spells. We actually don't have a good hit for Spiteful Summoner even right now, right? Our most expensive is 5. 
four, four, one. This one at least pulls the five, which is better. I'll take that card though. All right, I can't take another Druid of the Plains. I simply can't. <laughs> I'll take the Cub. Cub is a good two. It's a good two. Oh my God. All right, I'm taking Battle Guard. Do we have any taunts in the deck? This guy, right? Uh, yeah, 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 I know. What are we gonna do? I mean, that, that, um, that teacher's pet is so good. So I have this big pimple. It's like, oh, it hurts. Oh, yeah, clowns. This guy's good too to discount. Do I have any elementals? I have one L. Oh, I have two elementals. I'm actually going to take this kind of like ramp, right? Pseudo ramp for our tiny cards. I'm taking another battle guard, man. They're great. Oh, I thought it was a uh, arbor up. Let's take the arborist, which is a good three. Um, oh, I'm sweating profusely. I can feel sweat dripping down my body here. We need so many more threes. <laughs> I do. Uh, I'm not taking Toothy Chest though. I'll take a uh, Goblin Gnome. Clockwork Gnome? What's he called? Uh, take Loot Hoarder here. And finally, oh, I only have one more pick. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, wow. All right, let's take the Dragon Slayer. We could have had four Druid in the Plains. The last deck hit six. I think we went not six. Retire this. This deck is going to do better than the last two decks. I'm fairly certain of that. This time we got the card quality, but we really didn't. Honestly, it's going to, you know, we. I don't really don't think we drafted this that greedy. I think they just, you know, they didn't give us what we needed to have a coherent deck. But... I think this deck, you know, if you're drawing this stuff, you're going to win when you start drawing that stuff later. No six drops. You won't stand a chance if you reach eight. I think you could play. Do or watch anything on stream and I would enjoy it. That's all I meant. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of times people will... I, th I think they're, like, you would watch. I don't know. I, I think, like, Juicy would watch. I think, like... Maybe Corrupt and Zelda would watch. But I think people underestimate how many people are really just here to watch Hearthstone. Like I always talk about it. Only like 10% of people even chat that watch the stream in a given day. And it's probably less than that. And I think we have an active chat here. If that makes sense. I think all you have to do is do like one sponsored content for anything other than Hearth. And you can kind of just see... You can kind of just see, oh, okay, like, however many viewers you have, like, just cut it in half. Half of the people will leave in the first 10 minutes of you switching off of Hearthstone. So, if you start with not Hearthstone, you know, just factor that into, like, 60% less, 40% of your viewership at best, maybe. Is how most streams probably would, um, operate. But I don't, I don't think anybody's insulting me, right? <laughs> I mean, if they are. I mean, not Juice Man, never. Never Juice Man. Came here for the Hearth, but I stayed in for the Redbeard. Yeah. There's, you know, I, there's a reason why there are so many Hearthstone streamers on Twitch. One, you know, it's a fun game that people are still enjoying, you know, years after its release. And it gets pretty consistent updates and card games have a sense of longevity because you're always going to be releasing new sets. Um... But the, the, the installed viewer base, the audience and the player base is huge too. So if you're trying to stream as a profession, a game like Hearthstone or you know Fortnite or whatever is a good bet because there's such a huge viewer base. Which again, makes it harder to break in because there's so many streamers, but you know, that's, that's part of the deal. I want you to do sponsor stuff because I like you to have enough to eat to live. Yeah, and again, some people just want to, you know, when you do the sponsored stuff, or if I, you know, if we played Super Mario at noon tomorrow, it'd be a lot less people, but 
you'd have less people chatting and the people that really like Redbeard could be like, oh, cool. Yeah, I get, a I get to talk to him a little more, maybe. I just had a Demon Hunter deck that looked this heavy and got 12. You're good. Well, Demon Hunter can be quite broken at times. I could flip that and hero power it. I could trade there. It's going to be a turn 5 Druid of the Plains. So how we play should factor into that. If I go there, he hero powers there, he bumps there. I, I just have a full clear here, even if it's not like super appealing. I, I know we take extra damage, but we keep the 3-1. And if I don't care about the damage, but if it's stopping him from playing like a four mana five seven so he can hero power this, it's just better for us. Hey Piggy. I don't see the new bet. Did I do a bet? We did. Four minutes ago. Okay. Um we could bump and play this, but man, let's just take a you know. Let's just take our hit and now now our Terrible curved deck at least can play anything it draws for the rest of the game, I think. Right? We'll, we'll, we'll not die with a clown and a survival in our hand. Oh, man. It's dry skin. Don't tell Tazni. You talked about Mimosa and I didn't even know what it is. The word bothered me. I'm still here in disgust. Wait, the word Mimosa bothers you? Even if you clown in survival, that's still a good play. But if you don't ramp, you could be dead before turn 9, right? Is, is the issue. The song's kinda nice. But it's not really a song. Alright. Um, bum, ba, da, bum. Archivist Survival. Next turn. Next turn. You just paid it out. Oh, I didn't set up a new one? Start prediction. What? Oh, my bad. Um, oh, I'm gonna put it at six. Sorry. I thought we had one. No. Uh, just because uh, we're going to lose a game or two to just our curve. Whether that be at the start of the run or the end, we'll, we'll, we'll see. This Frenzy card is so good. I mean, keep in mind, this is our turn five. But he has six mana now. This is our turn five. It's funny, when they released this card, I think everybody was kind of like, oh, this card's going to be a big problem. And then it just wasn't very common, so it was like, oh, who cares? And then now the epics are so common. This card is a, it's a freaking menace. Um, I guess I could do this. I really just want the five five on board. Play the proto. I could play the dirigible. So I could play it next turn. I can go Relentless Pursuit. I guess I don't want that. Dirigible's good for him, but I could shoot the Dirigible. Maybe I just take that. I've got more mana as well, so I could like shoot the Dirigible, play the Hoarder maybe. Um, bum, bum. For him, Proto is useless if you play it first, but I think this is the issue, right? Like this turn, I mean... Had he cleared our guy, I think we could have been in a in a worse position, maybe. Maybe you're right. Like, just drop a proto here. But if he, you know, pings this, push, push, you know, it's pretty easy to have four damage. We could end up dying. Or, I guess you double trade, then you proto. Then we don't have lethal, except we drew survival, so now we would in that situation. Um, trade, trade, trade... Trade. Deck is totally going six. I'm betting all in on no. Take my farts. This is pretty good for next turn. 
I guess it's pretty good for this turn. No. Like, if we need to kill something next turn, we can. Shh. I never bet more than a thousand. I only bet farts take me down to an even number. Maybe that's OCD. I do that all the time. Sometimes more than a thousand, but yeah, I always have like, a, depending on how many points I have in a channel, I'll always be like, eh, okay, I'm not going below this number. And I'll just bet so it's an even amount. You want to open a Pokemon's Dexter? Oh my god, Dexter, look what I got. Oh my god, not the best thing. I mean, it's not like Dexter. Dexter level stuff. Look what I opened up. My mom bought four packs. She's like, here, I bought these for you. I bought a whole box I didn't get. A Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. Now I did. Did you open all your boxes? Do you have them? What are you doing with those? What are you doing with all this crap? Dang, that's nice. What did you, did you open any of your boxes? I know you had like five boxes. Silence. Wait, are we still gonna die? My cards don't do anything. Hmm. It's no good. Huh. That was like the worst turn. Your mom is supporting your habit. What an enabler. I think she was selling my brother's, um... I think she was selling my brother's comic books. Uh, we actually lost this game after survivaling. That's that's frustrating for sure. I guess Quail Fang in to destroy my entire hand is pretty good. I will say that. So what's like the best thing to have out on board? Like this? I picked up another box today that I had pre-ordered, but I'm broke. Have you opened any? Oh, how many did you say? You haven't opened one? Keep forgetting to look for my shoe box full of old ass Pokemon cards to send you. Oh yeah, well that's alright if you forget. Don't worry. Can I kill him? Is there any way I can kill him? I need like a rush minion or something. Or clowns would be good. I've opened one and a half boxes. What's the best thing you got? Did you get any uh, alt art things? That's not good for me. Um, I actually can't kill that. So I have to shoot that. Right? The Blaziken alt art? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I think that's the best one you can get, right? Doesn't silence him. No, just enemy minions. How much is one box? I got mine for like retail. I think it was like 120 or something. It was close to retail. Maybe 130. Some of them, they sell for less than that. Some of the sets. But oh gosh, thanks for the sub, Dexter. 24 months, two years. This is when we did the first rivals, remember? We did the first rivals together. 110 to 130 or so per box. Yeah, that sounds about right. But if you're a big time streamer like Dexter, you, you could you could buy upwards of like two of those a month. You know, and those fat Twitch checks. Two hundred dollars a month. Okay, I'm glad we won still. You ignored my sub the other day. Oh, I heard about that. I don't think you subbed. <laughs> Your alerts weren't working. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's not the story Zelda said like two days ago. Zelda comes in here. He's like, man, fuck Dexter. I subbed him and he didn't read it. Fuck that guy. And now Dexter's here. He's singing a different tune. Um, Mr. Dexter, I think maybe you 
ignored my shove. Maybe your alerts weren't working. <laughs> Zelda never lies. Red told me to ignore your sub. I didn't tell you that. I support that. <laughs> I ignore his sub here, but that's different. And then I like it, Zelda, he just erupts. He went like full Goku. Then how the fuck am I using your emotes? Zelda, you need to chill, dude. You need to take a chill pill. I love you, Dex. <laughs> I love you, Zell. Wow, that's a great emote. What's that? Dex chat? Why don't you have any clothes on? You're gonna get banned by Twitch again. They will reprimand you. Remember you got your, your Dexter arse taken away? You're gonna get your Dexter salami taken away? Yum Pickles is here. I love that guy. He's a good guy. Don't really care what the uh, municipal courts of California say about his behavior. I think he's salvageable. Everybody go to Dex YouTube to watch the new series against Solemn. I've already watched it twice. So I, I agree with this. I love your pickles. Who, what are all these emotes? I really... <laughs> Say now I feel a little bad. I haven't used any of them. I mostly just used X H. Could silence it maybe. I mean it feels bad, but sometimes life feels bad. What's my favorite part of the Dexter versus Solemn part? The part where the two of them somehow played a 30 minute game of Hearthstone and neither one was able to, to win. It's, it felt just like watching the same, you know, both of their streams. And I, you know, I, you know me, I love those guys. It's like, hey, I'm playing a freeze shaman with Murabi and, you know, uh, what? And I'm like, what? what's going on here? How is this possible? You can silence emotes? So you're talking about two different things. I'm talking about 20 different things. I was talking about silencing his uh, scorpion, which negated its poison uh, benefits. And I was talking about not using Dexter's emotes for a while, which saddened me greatly. I mean, I use them. I just didn't use the new ones. I always use this one. And then I use this one. And then I use this one. That's these are like my most used emotes on Twitch, but those are the only ones I use. Gasm is best. You could do this. Well, I mean pickles can't right now, but uh, same lips, different character, same hairy lips. I kind of like just trading. I don't really need the ramp. It'd be nice to ramp, but we don't have any of our big cards. Are you doing anything special for the 50,000 followers? What about Dex GG? Is that even a thing? Apparently not. Uh, apparently so. What the hell? I, why, where are all these new emotes coming from? No plans on anything special ever. <laughs> Punish the community. Isn't that what you always taught me? Take their money. Don't read their sub messages when Zelda subs. Punish the community, he said. I stand by those words. A 5-8? That's the Dexter way. But I don't know. I just, I went a different route. I thank people. I treat them with respect. I know it, it ain't the way Dexter taught me, but it is the way Mama raised me. It's gonna be a thing. I'm crashing someone's wedding. Dexter, you down? I'm already offered a red beard before you, cause he's funnier. <laughs> I am funnier than Dexter, but I also have a worse smell. Uh... 
That's kind of cute. This party up card can be quite good. I mean, a four mana six seven taunt's pretty good. But what else am I doing with my mana here, right? Like, I, I guess this maybe. You say you're stinky. I, I work hard. I work hard while I'm streaming. Well, I don't work hard, but it's 100 degrees where I live, so... Yeah, let's just say... It's a bit of an odor. Doesn't really make sense to go face. You put him to 24, he immediately goes back up to 26. If he has, like, a... Librem of Justice, you just lose more of your board for less. 100 is cool. I'm telling you, man, I'll settle for a nice, balmy, breezy, 98-degree afternoon, man. You have hair under your cap? I've got a lot of hair. Lower than the cap. My back fur is... Plentiful. Hey, Mr. Vovo. Dude, were you fucking out of your mind yesterday? You were fucking going gaga. I couldn't understand shit you were saying. 100 is normal in the summer. You ever just shave just to cool off? Yeah. I shave my inner thighs sometimes just to cool off. It's nice and breezy. We could hold it. Kind of stupid. Could play that and and like some other shit. Sen sen um, uh, two seven one nine. I, think I can take resizing here. Um. Sorry, I was thinking. I I'm gonna try to do this. And then get a nine and then corrupt the clown. That's that's what I'm gonna try to do. I guess I could actually trade if I'm really just trying to keep this guy alive. Then it's probably better to do it like this. Do I take meds? Me? For my hairy back or for my in ear thigh? Or for oh for the other guy. Just manic, and I'm finding a good outlet for coping. You were doing great yesterday. Eight mana help you corrupt the clown. Yeah, this will too, though. Um, beast, 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 beast. Okay, so that was really unfortunate. It's not ideal. Um, we have a Dragon Slayer in the deck, I believe. Did not draw it. We did not. More clowns. Or we could take Oakheart. What does Oakheart pull? Pulls a stupid elemental. Maybe a Basilisk. Could pull a Kodo. We're getting three minions no matter what. And it makes our draws better, right? It thins our deck out. So I think I just take Oakheart. He doesn't have a ton going on right now. Sure. Red bread emote. We could do a red bread emote. You want to make it? Oh, card's always been busted. Um, uh, it's good. Certainly good. Is this a stream I heard about where a sexy stud does manly things? Hey, Top D. It's sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Let's go with that. Where is he trading? Trading with the Master Oak Oakheart? I mean, all of our draws are better now. That one's not great, though. Trade, trade. I guess I could look for something. I really... I should probably just play the Clowns. But I kind of have... I mean, it's stupid. Well, let's, we could play the Clowns. I don't want to. I don't want to. This card's probably better for me than it is for him. 
This card's annoying. This card's kind of annoying. Let's take Coaster. I actually could get a little bit more of a clear this turn if I do it here. I get three one ones. So I get to keep this alive and I get to kill the fungal. I think that's worth something. Did you sell smoke bombs from your ice cream truck? Oh, you know it, brother. I had one of them fully stocked ones. Um, what's up, Stinky? Hey, Les. Do you ever go through phases, binges of random shit? Like right now, I can't get enough of images from electron microscopes. Uh, I do go through phases. I can't say I've been through that phase. Um, I go through like pornographic, uh, pornographic phases, you know? Sometimes you like you know, Brazilian women farting. Sometimes you like Eastern European women farting. Uh, sometimes I watch, uh, you know, different programs. You know, sometimes I'm watching, uh, you know, space videos. Other times I'm watching, you know, Game of Thrones videos. What was your lowest kink? Uh, I had a limbo kink for a while. I like to watch ladies doing limbo. Just kept setting the bar lower and lower. It was only like one video. But not a long time. Big money, big money. Give it to me, honey. I gotta assume Nazoth is good. I don't know what he does, really, but I'm getting a freaking pirate back. Yeah, alright. Um. It's pretty good. Just say different uh, stroke grams instead of programs. Me? <laughs> I don't think so. Seriously, Yum, you better look it up and tell me what you think of uh, of that. Oh gosh, I need new uh, followers. Sorry, if anybody wants to follow, now would be a sick time. Is if Dexter's still here, he might be impressed. You never know. I don't know. Queen Ariana's here. Maybe she'll be impressed. You never know. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I guess I'll keep them at seven, why not, right? We want more. What about your stepsister? Head stuck phase. You know, I never really got into that, but I did watch like one or two videos like that, and I remember thinking like I I could see the appeal here. I could see why people would, would kinda dig it. Whoa! I mean, what are you getting? I got you. Get, we drafted this deck with a purpose. We have to at least do it once. Uh, Soothsayer, what up, Soothsayer? Thanks for the follow. That's game. <laughs> it might be, yeah.
Yo, Red Beard, what up, Grouchy Boy? Good to see ya. That was a counterplay. Alright, what are you gonna do? He got humiliated. I mean, our deck, if we get 100 turns, which we drew our entire deck, like, is eventually gonna be able to do that. We held the clowns. I think we could have won a lot earlier if we just played the tempo, like, on turn 9 or whatever, the clowns. But, I mean, we gotta try. Props to him for staying? Yeah, yeah. I don't really think that's all that BM. If you're gonna stay in the game, you know, whatever. Maybe he had a Deathwing and he could have come back and we gave him a chance or whatever. I wouldn't have cried if he Deathwinged me. Oh man, I'm sweating profusely. Alez, you ever get really hot and sweaty? Bottle it up and sell it to people on the internet? It's gonna be sound super depressing, but I miss myself. I don't really know what that... <laughs> I don't really know what that means. This may sound a little depressing, but I look forward to laying down and never getting back up. No, you're never getting back up again. Some days. Nobody will notice that Redbeard likes farts. <laughs> I don't like farts, dude. Let's put that old notion to, to rest. Enough is enough. You need a pit crew of modacious babes to tally you down once or twice a run. <laughs> Thank God you didn't say once or twice a stream, because that certainly wouldn't be enough. But once or twice a run, I think that's feasible, yeah. This run has some slow games. Uh, how long has this run gone on for so far? 30 minutes. The first game was about 13, 12, 13 minutes. The second game was like 15 minutes. You right, man, you right. Uh, not what we want. What else is in the deck? So we have the 5 drop and germination, those are good hits. Hopefully we don't draw those for a bit. Oh my gosh, didn't go face. Yes, I'm doing this. If we can pick up like a, a 7 or an 8. Oh, corrupt. This is good for me this turn. Sure. Are games here as fast as wild games? No. I don't know how fast wild games are, but I can't imagine. The average game ends on like turn 9 or 10 or something weird like that. Okay, I need Druid of the Plains right now. Darn it. This could be sick. Oh my god, if it ever lives, but it never will. But if it ever does. I don't really have a play otherwise, so I don't think I hold it per se. Maybe he kills the 4-3, leaves up the 2-3. We play the Archivist, the Archivist corrupts the Clown. It's possible. Poet pennies are worth one one hundredth of a cent. <laughs> uh, let's hope it hits a 4-3. Okay, I'll take it. I just need time right now. I need time. Turn 6 is late and turn 10 is Omega Kek W late. Ay, 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 this could actually be good if it pulls... Um, If it pulls partner to Simon's it's trash, but if it pulls, um, really just force of nature. Germination's okay, can only hit friendly minions. Just okay. We could just do it next turn, maybe trade this off, have just this and this for germination, maybe. Looks like we're gonna, um, do the whirling blades. Maybe not. It's actually kind of interesting, because the whirling blades hit hero power, I guess. We're really just playing those. Oh, but I'm gonna corrupt them next turn. All right, let's, uh, this looks a little weird. I think we actually do this. We actually do this. Hmm. Sure. It's actually good to do that. So they'll get the buff. If you draw this card after, you won't get the buff, right? Like, if you do this, then you use it, then they're kind of useless. Streamer luck? Yeah, that was pretty good luck, actually. Only 
four eight eights next turn. Only four eight eights. This game is over. Uh, yeah, it is. We haven't listened to Arnie's energy song. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Let me find it. Well, let me try to like... Okay. It's not dead. What the flip? How much would you charge for an audio book from me? Like to read a book? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, I would do a lot of things for Juicy for free, I think. For free. I've gotten such insane support from that guy. Pretty good turn. <laughs> um. Or one off, actually, right? Right? I don't know. I guess it depends how long it would take me to read it. Carnival and Face? I like Clowns and Face. Red would be an awesome cartoon character voice. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Somebody said I would, uh, I think some of the, you know, smoking hot babes of Twitch chat said I, I would have a good, like, adorable Pixar dog voice, you know? And I, I kind of read between the lines. I think they wanted to collar me up and have me drink out of a dog bowl. <laughs> you know what? Your voice is comfortable? Hey, thanks, man. I thought it was terrible, but a lot of people seem to dig it, so I'll take it. You know what I think is good? It's I kind of, I, I actually use inflection and emphasis when I chat and sometimes I watch streamers and they're like, Red would be an awesome cartoon character voice. Please only talk about Hearth right now. <laughs> Please, there will be no discussion like that. Must play more Hearth. The monotones are hard to follow, yeah. Or the people that never smile or laugh at all. Hey, Wumbly. Where you crack a good joke and they're like, you know. Poet's pennies are valued in spaghetti. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I did that wrong. Poet's pennies are valued in spaghetti. One penny buys half a spaghetti strand. Or they'll do this. Same message. Top D, I don't understand the joke you're saying. <laughs> or whatever. It's like, uh, ay -ay -ay. why did I bother typing this? I don't think I... Well, maybe I do need cards. We'll see what he does here. Did I spell his name wrong? Who? Mark Hamill? Um, I don't know. I like Mark Hamill, though. I think he did a good job. I could fully clear him. One there. Hero power, then play this in a one. Or just play that. Yeah, makes his potential buffs worse, right? A little awkward. That's Raffle. I don't watch Raffle, but you guys know the type of, you know, personas. I was doing a specific streamer, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to use names. But you guys know the type of streams that are out there, you know? You know when somebody's kind of, you know? Got a different mentality to them. <laughs> This card is problematic for both of us, but I went first and I don't have a six. Sure.
Brett sounds like Stephen Wright. I don't know who that is. Do, 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 do. But anyway, I, I, oh my god. Jesus Christ. I gotta get more chip clips to hold my, uh, hold my blackout curtains up. Seems like more often the thing, the clip is just flying and scaring me. Frightening me in front of my friends. Why does this cost five? Uh, taunt minion costs less. The first taunt minion you play costs less. Taunt three, two less. I commented on Raffle's YouTube. Skip to a random moment, and if Raffle is touching his face, you have a blessed day. Zero likes. F you, YouTube. And I had to watch Raffle. <laughs> I, I, uh, wow. It's kind of a good uh, evolve, huh? Sort of. That is a good one, Elez. I'm sorry they didn't give you a thumbs up. I had a really good thumb um, comment. I can't remember what I wrote or where, but I, I know I've been laying down some YouTube fire and nobody gave me a thumbs up. I ordered French toast during the Renaissance, Stephen Wright. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's pretty. Now I don't want to touch my face, lest I be judged by a les. I can't kill that. Not this turn. Putting a couple shitters on the board is kind of good this turn. Because we know he's got the 6 drop that I, I probably wouldn't mind uh, disposing of. Do, 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 do. You're always laying straight fire on YouTube. Hey, thanks for having my back, dude. Even if you don't believe that, I think that's cool. We need to have each other's backs, Alez. Chipping and chopping like so and so. Stay up and be positive. Hey, what's his name? You do the same, bud. What choice do we have? Okay, um, man, keep hitting this damn survival when I'd rather not hit it. Oh, Wumble, don't tell loose. Amazing, looking at my favorite streamer, so that's great. I'm your favorite streamer? Above loose? That's foolish to me. I can say with almost complete certainty that she probably has a better... many, many things. I pull a five drop here. I think I'm just gonna take a five. It's fine. Makes this card worse and worse, though. Oh, never mind. Forgot I'm on the streamer server today. Well, I'm watching Lewis at the moment. Oh, okay. Got him. I understood. I didn't understand. But now I do. Loose. Good. Redbeard. Bad. Wholeheartedly agree. It does some interesting stuff with spells. This is a really cool deck. Chat said it was bad and dumb and I smelled bad and looked ugly and I thought, well, you know what? Enough! <laughs> Enough with that! Good morning, Tiny Jane. How are you? Do you want to cast a 5 cost spell or draw and summon a 5? Tough choice. Don't you ever play Hunter? I played Hunter two days ago. 12, 12 win Hunter. It's pretty nice. Is he dead? Yes. No. Maybe. Can you repeat the question? Um, what is this pull? Something. Trade hero power. I could do this and just try to set up lethal for next turn. Or I could just slam this now. He bumps there, he kills it, but he's at one, right? So he has to taunt. I could find like a Nazoth or something maybe. I don't know, leaving it up feels like the way that I potentially lose. What if I do this? Like I, I just take the trade. 
It's on YouTube? Oh yeah, brother. It'll be on YouTube. How many classes have I 12 would with? I think only two. I think I have multiple 12 O's with Warrior and Paladin, though. I think I'm getting screwed a little. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> Darn survival not doing what I want it to do. Alex? Oh god, did it give me Alex? I didn't even look. Sorry if it did. Man, I'm so I'm so happy that some of you guys are here today. <laughs> it's way better than none of you guys being here. I think we could lose in theory to like uh like a Silas or something, maybe. Like, it's probably better to just do this. Right, and then, like, just don't lose to Silas. Plus, it's kind of symmetrical. Uh, twos, some six fives with death rattles. Did not get Alex. Hey, Davey, how are you, dude? Oh, man, I missed you, Davey. You got a dragon. Hmm. Okay, this deck has been good. When Redbeard wins, it is good. He cries less. Oh, I was supposed to play uh, Luke Million. Alright, I'll remember now. Didn't need Alex. This deck is fun. It's like a combo deck. We've gotten lucky that we haven't just started with a, an opening hand that just costs us the game, right? So if that happens, then we're in trouble. That'll, that'll happen. I think. Twelve and one confirmed. That's an odd prediction. Maybe, but I don't know why. Where, where, where? What's the basis? Alright, let's red bed. I like this tune. It's a nice little ditty. Down. Up. Down. On your way to a 12 win, I believe. I hope so. I don't I wouldn't be so bold as to predict uh, 12 wins, but Might as well just keep the Druid in the planes, but maybe not. It's like most of our deck is heavy. So I think you try to curve out a little bit better. Maybe hit some cheap taunts also would be really good for this guy. I summon partner assignment into opening hand. Ooh, that'd be nice. He's still trying to move to Vegas? That's the goal, yeah. That's the plan, Mr. Juice Man. But man, I don't know. I should probably find some, like a, like a psychiatrist to talk to or something. I just feel very unmotivated to do anything. I don't know, I'm a little worried. I don't think that's good. Alright, let's do this. Me too. Maybe that's just life, right? Maybe tomorrow. I mean, no, no, I, I walked eight miles. I walked eight miles today. Well, I, I walked five miles, then I came home and fell asleep. And then I went and got food. I walked another, uh, Another couple of miles to get food and back. I felt pretty good about that. Ow. Up. Sorry to go to therapy a few weeks ago with my motivational problems. Let me know if, if you talk to someone and it helps. I won't. Why not attack? And then I lose my guy, right? I don't want to lose this. I want to play this. You know, if we can hit uh, the clowns, that could be a good card. And both of these are going to get buffed at least. And this could pull survival, and that'd be cool. I mean, I'm not going to do it. Oh. 
It's pretty good. No, rapid attack on the taunt. You put down instead of health. So you do one more damage to his taunt. Oh no, I don't care about dealing one damage to his taunt. I just wanted to have a better odds at my, um... My... Battle Guard would stay alive. So I don't really care if this guy's a 1-4 or a 1-3, if it means the difference between me losing my Battle Guard and not... If that makes sense. Okay, not survival this turn. Not survival. Okay, perfect. Grand Guardian? That seems fair to me. That seems fair to me, personally. Okay, I don't agree though. Okay. It certainly was better to play health though, but it's okay if you disagree. I would say that like 90% of the time at least it was probably better to do, um... To take the... Oh, this actually kind of sucks. I actually get a smaller minion. But yeah, you definitely wanted health there. I can say that with almost complete certainty. Oh, I should have double traded in case we get germination and we can guarantee we hit one of the big nasties. Losing weight, that is my goal, is working because I'm not eating more than one meal a day instead of exercise. I think I should join the gym. I think I'm going to. But I thought about it. It's like, well, I mean, you always have a reason not to do something. But I thought I should join the gym. But I'm not going to join the gym and then be gone from here in a month or six weeks or whatever. It's like, well, now I have a stupid year membership to a small gym or whatever. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to I'm going to try. I'm going to try to make some changes. And I think, you know, I always say, you know, life is hard. I think, uh, you know, three years ago, I think things are better now, or two years ago, things are better now. It's just sometimes you get so deep in a hole that climbing out of it feels really, really hard. I don't know, I guess I just never really felt that way, even when I kind of felt down before. It's like, um, like cleaning your room, right? If you clean it every day, it's like not really all that hard. I was thinking about it. But if you let your room get really, really messy, then you don't want to clean it because it's such an ordeal to pick everything up. It's like, how do I vacuum the floor? I got to pick everything up off the floor. How do I scrub the walls? I got to like scrub twice as long. I don't know. I think maybe life has kind of got that way. How's the old pool of sweat? Mine copious and... Expanding. You get fit when you move in with Smalls, bringing him his dinner and dancing for his amusement. <laughs> hey, you know, I don't dance. Germination's kind of cool. This is kind of cool, too. Um, ah, This will be seven mana, right? If I, can, if I can swing it. I'm going to just play this. Eh, maybe we'll play that. We'll see. Uh, yeah, maybe. We got four. If I can figure out turn five and not have to play this, uh, I think I will. That was an excellent analogy. Yeah, I hope it makes sense. Darn. I mean, I might have to just germinate. I might not even get to. What song is this? Hey, Queenie, how are you? I can give you a big tip. Always go to the gym without eating. Maybe in the morning gives you the most benefit. That's a big tip. You were given the big tip. Everyone dances when Small's around. If that's what he says we must do, then we do not have a choice. A little awkward here. Not that awkward. The the being dead part is the little awkward part. Guys owning you. Yeah, we've been uh, slapping everybody around. Now we're getting slapped around. Sometimes these games are just the race to who can go off with the battle guard. That's what this game is. Um, we did key, yeah, pick an 8 drop there. I can't remember. I think we had a germination. If we could germinate next turn, that might be really important. Certainly doesn't help that we uh, may skip our turn next turn. 
This doesn't help that all this is happening as well, to be fair. Him slapping me around. You nailed the head of the nail, like... Right on the head, if it nails had head. You know, I don't. I can't say I do. <laughs> I guess I trade this one. It's attack and help. So it's not the best draw for us, but again, we took an eight and we have a clunky deck. So it's, you know, some, some games you're just going to draw not anything less than seven mana. This was one of those games. Okay, what can- oh, we drew the survival too, that's so bad. Um, so we get a 5 drop from this guy. That could be good. We get an earth alley, it's not very good. Hmm. If we roll like a Turalyon, it's not very good. Oh, you're a little late to the party, Richter. Need a- uh, hmm, it's a card. It's not a great one, but... Hello, hey Fifi, how are you? Tried my best at Rick and Morty humor there. Did you watch the new episode? I, I thought it was pretty good. Have they done a second episode yet? I, I'd be down to watch a second episode of Rick and Morty. Um, mm, I have to roll a taunt here, I think. Good card. Probably not enough here, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, so close. 19. Ooh, we actually weren't really all that... We weren't like 100% dead. Like, but well, we all were 100% dead, but... We weren't... Okay, we were 100% dead. Can you stream the new episode if nobody tattles? Oh, no way. Not a chance. Not a chance. Big time streamer Redbeard, they got they got their eyes watching me. They know I'm a good uh I'm a good freelancer. Freelance non denominal non official employee. Not to be associated with Twitch and or Amazon or their beliefs. Monka TOS, they're after you. I mean, they're not after me, but if I did that, they probably would be. Man, what, what, what? Could you guys imagine Fifi coming to this stream? What a, what a luxury. Did we disconnect? Maybe we disconnected here. Oh, crap. Shamey Mulligan Kindling. I don't think you want to keep Kindling. I don't. I think this deck, it's fine if you end up with it. And you can't really look at it retroactively like, oh, I should have known I was going to draw two eights, another eight, a nine, and a ten on turn five or whatever. But um, I think you're mulliganing. If you're mulliganing, you're mulliganing anything that costs more than three, except overgrowth. And... You're keeping everything probably other than kindling. Maybe Clockwork Gnome you could pitch to. Going second against a ping class, I wouldn't keep it. I think you're really trying to hit the battle guards, um, the wand makers. The partnered assignment is huge too. I like a picture in front of the ice cream truck. Hey, thanks. How do you access that? I don't even know where it is anymore. They make a request. Can we not talk about weight loss and dieting strategies? Sure. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's your cover photo. How, how do you see that? I don't even know how to see a cover photo on Twitch anymore. 
It used to be like it would show up and then you could make it go away. Now it's nowhere and I have no effect on it one way or another. Um, let's just draw a card. Our deck has, like, if we curve out, a very high card quality. So drawing cards is a little better for us. If he has a combustion and we take the 2-2, two, two, they all die anyway, so. Business is fucking booming. Got a 4, we've got a 5. Hmm, oh, new plan. Play it, turn 5 Druid of the Plains. I shut my dirty mouth. Um, single-handedly dragging this chat down. I think you're propping us up. Just barely. Uh-oh. Where's Queenie? Oh, shit. I mean, whatever. The part of the problem with playing an early, uh... Druid of the Plains is... You're gonna have to kill something <laughs> much less value than he's worth. If I had a 2 drop there, I think I would have played a 5 and a 2. If he didn't have a card that spat out 1-1s, one I might have played a 4 and a 3. I'm on mobile and I don't know when I clicked and the photo showed up. That's what I'm saying, I don't know. Shrieking Shroom was a great game-breaking card two years ago. I think Shrieking Shroom was a pretty overrated card two years ago. I don't think it was all that good. We're trying to find like a proto or something. Protector looks good for us, but not so good for him. And again, sucks that every damn game we've got a survival in our hand, but we needed a big card and it could be very good for us still. I like it because, oh, well, this is good too. Funny thing is if we play this, he might be like, oh, well, I'll just leave them up because they're all going to die anyway. Yeah, I don't think Shroom was all that good back, even back in the day. This is better, but... All right, let's do this. He didn't have a flame strike a turn ago, so or two turns ago. If he top decked it in one of these two, then well, you know, it's good for him. He did top deck it. Not this turn. Turn before. It was a good enough card. It was a playable card. Certainly wouldn't call it game-breaking at any point in its existence. Hmm. Well, this has worked out quite poorly for us. But sometimes it's the one in tw one in twenty flame strike draw that gets you right. Uh, what am I getting from this? Uh oh. Wait, am I drawing? Wait, am I drawing nothing? I'm drawing a one drop. It's not good. Okay, well, we're not looking great here, but we have many good draws, so. Am I missing something? I must be. One drop is a two drop. Yeah, sort of. It's kind of a high roll for us.
Well, I have no um, spells in my deck. My minions are humongous, so I guess I'll take this. That's his third flame strike. Yeah, all drafted. I think. I guess it makes it a little less... A little more likely that he were to have top decked the flame strike at an opportune moment. This whole deck is flame strikes, then the unluckier not to draw it. Hey, did we already hear this song? Can't remember. But if we did, that's okay. I think it's nice. Ever so close to that something big reward. I finally got up to go pee, but I have a question for you, Redbeard. You ever pee so hard you thought you pissed out your prostate? Uh, I've never peed that hard. Six, seven, eight, nine. I have um peed so hard I kind of was like holding it two-handed like a fire hose and it was blowing me backwards and I was like peeing all over the place and I was like being forcefully pushed backward from the porcelain bowl that's definitely happened when I say two-handing it I mean like I was two-handing it <laughs> GG's I'll take it man I'll take it a lot of flame strikes high G maneuver yeah I was upside down for half of that Okay, um, will we win six? Yes. I know you guys love betting. Let's bet on ten. Okay, maybe ten? We gotta get four more wins. I'll give you guys five minutes to think about it, okay? I need to anchor myself to the walls. Oh, man. I gotta look at the weather, man. The weather, comma, man. I'll keep this four going first. I don't want to end up with, like, a seven and a ten or something. When will it cool down? I don't think it ever cools down. I guess... I guess tomorrow it's only 91. That's really not all that bad compared to 102. God damn it. Uh, 10? What? I don't want the cards that cost 10 in my opening hand because I only have one mana. They just sit here doing nothing while I die. Oh, 10 wins. Is that what the bet is? Will we win 10 games? Yeah, we're at six right now. We have to win four more, but this hand leaves a bit to be desired. <laughs> All right. It's a very good card, uh, but I like playing that over this. Worst board, but It'll, it allows us to corrupt this, which is a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shoot the 2-1. I kind of like that. He only needs one damage to kill this. We can kill almost anything. Also really like getting this down, because if he has one of these, then it's just going to activate for us in the, in the near future. Have I seen The Expanse? I watched the first two seasons of The Expanse, and I think the first like two or three episodes of the third season. It's got parts that are good, but man, it was too tough, man. The dialogue is dumb. I don't want to get into spoilers, but I thought maybe second half of season two, definitely beginning of season three. They had lost a lot. They lost some of what made the show really good. They had lost some of it. Fifth season is crying worthy. I don't know what crying worthy really means. It doesn't sound good though. I don't really want to cry. What's the expanse? Sounds like a great title. It's like a sci-fi. Um, it's a sci-fi channel show about like earth and the mar in like the story earth and mars have kind of like 
become like two functioning societies and then i guess people live on the asteroid belt and it's kind of about like how the three societies kind of like interact and that's not dead <laughs> Game of Thrones in space? I'd say it's a far cry from Game of Thrones in space. It's like Game of Thrones seasons 5, 6, 7, and 8 in space, maybe. Clip that. <laughs> that was an error. You need to say no seasons. Maybe they're better. I thought season one and two were eh, they're all right, they're watchable, but not something I like going gaga over. I thought season three was rough. It's very cringy. Hey, wicked kitten, how are you? Meow, meow, meow. It's great to see you. I don't know about this gunship album. I mean, it's probably fine. You have to full send it, can't half commit for it. I think if a show... Like, if you have to get through bad content to reach some good content, uh, it's not really, like, a good show. In general, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather just watch a show that doesn't have bad content. Eh, whatever. Read the books. It's the best book series ever. Um, I've heard the books are good. Maybe I would. Maybe I should check out the audiobooks for the Expanse. That could be cool. It's misunderstood. Your low IQ brain. Uh, I don't think I have a particularly low IQ brain. Finally, having we've already done it once. We've already done it once. This one. Oh God! What is he doing? I will know if he's got the clown. Or not. He must not have the clown. I think that's the right pick there as well. We could just play this. This is fine. Right? I guess he could freeze it. Alright, whatever. Like you just death wing or die, right? This deck is like my previous druid deck, which got 12. Wicked Kitten, I think... I hope you have a good day at work. The Office begs to differ. The first season is pretty horrible. I like the first season, but... It gets better after the first season, but I don't think the first season's unwatchable. Do I? I don't really remember. Um... It's also really short. The first season of The Office is like six episodes, isn't it? And they're like, tw aren't they like 25 minutes long or something? I like the, uh, the hot girl in The Office. I can't remember who plays her, that redheaded gal. She's kind of smoking hot. The healthcare episode and the diversity day are pretty good, I thought. I don't know. You think it's horrible? I'm not sure if I'd agree or if I if I'd feel the same way. Parks and Rec season one is unwatchable. I tried to get into Parks and Rec like only a few episodes, one or two, and I didn't dig it. And people say you kind of gotta get beyond that. Uh, is Ron Swanson? He's like not in season one. That's how Always Sunny was too. Although I think the first season of Always Sunny is watchable, but. I think Danny DeVito's in the second season, and that's when it supposedly gets really good. I haven't watched that much. I always try to watch it in order, and I just always like, eh, that's good. All right, you know, I... Amy Adams, is that who it is? Oh, man, she's a beautiful lady. It's a good card. Really need card draw. I'd rather just have something that could trade in. In theory. Naomi Nagata is the best character. I like Naomi. She's a very beautiful actress. Certainly. I'm 
Mm -mm. I'm gonna go watch at the expanse. Enjoy it, man. But I don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about the expanse in the office. Um, we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> we're talking about. Uh, I can't remember what. Bunch of gibberish. It's corrupted. I don't like slapping there, so he can't bump and ping. Right? So he has to just trade there, hopefully. And then... I don't know, we just go like... Zixor... Maybe... This guy. Trade up. Play that, play that, and we're in good shape. Hmm. What a magic fucking moment that was. Um, I haven't watched any of these. What show have you been into lately? I think our deck isn't super concerned with pushing damage. I'm trying to minimize the amount of damage I take so I can just win with my card quality at some point. Dixor Prime with Survival would be Pog. Almost as good as Corrupt Clowns. Cosmic Fookin' Camel. You'll love to see it. If, and only if, you're a Redbeard fan. Um, I really want to play this, but if I trade there and play that, he gets to bump there and just kill this, so it's not really worth it. I'm a Redbeard fan. You know, I think Redbeard's pretty nice. Darn it. Alright, I'm gonna play my own proto. I could dragon slay it, but... If I, if he rolls a good 7, it's like I kinda waste my whole turn. Cosmic Camel! Gifting one to the kindest lad! You gotta love the kindest lad. I certainly would consider doing so. I saw Hootie groove into this tune. That was nice. Maybe it's pretty okay. I'm not the worst dude. I'm not. Tomorrow's my last day of uni. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. What are you majoring in? Pokemonology, um, Hearthstone, uh, some sort of nudist sculpting painting system. What the Sam hell? Cosmic's going hog wild. Give him one to Dragon Z. Thank you. I hope things are going well for you, Mr. Cosmic. That's a great draw, sort of. So that I don't draw... I don't pull that. And I can pull... You know what? Bye. Fart and redemption sounds are super low. I barely heard Cosmic's tasting burger. Oh yeah, people were spamming them. And it lowered itself. No. Wretched little worm. Uh, what does this card do? Every third spell. Okay, so we just have to get... Um, uh, nope. Nope. They didn't let me finish. If we got uh, survival that turn, it could have been really good. Cosmic's going all wild. Three. Count them. Three. Gifted subs. Let me whoop this guy's arse for a minute.
my man tank tank prod prodigy oh my god good to see it's great to see him it's great to see both of you guys wait couldn't you play the two then the one mana spell then the overgrowth then force of nature uh you could probably but i don't know if i have enough board space for that or a desire to do that over this you could do a lot of things the force of nature just puts a bunch of two twos on the board we put a bunch of like gigantor minions on board this way Uh, Keck W, how are you, man? Okay, eight wins. Never mind me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's always different lines. You want to try to take, no offense, you know, like a good one. <laughs> or the best one, if you can. Yeah, you can always do other stuff. You could have overgrowth into draw into one mana arbor. Yeah, that might have been better, actually. I think you're right. I was focused on the Kale to Lost Value. I didn't think of the best play. I think um, Wii Woo's play was the best way to utilize Kale to Loss to at least get the card draw. It's not a big deal, but the remaining cards in our deck were so good. We had Clowns, Survival, Primordial, Zixor Prime, and a Druid of the Plains. So getting an extra card and not having to invest the mana in the future to draw one more card is a big, you know, if it's free, you might as well take it. Just trapped all the greed. I mean, it's not even the greed, right? Like, the way I would quantify it, qualify it, the way I would break it down is a lot of decks don't get offered a survival and a clown and a primordial and a proto. When you get offered those cards, you take them because they just single-handedly win the game if you can you can make it to them. Like Vile Fiend and Scrap Scrap Imp and you know, Initiate on 3. Like you you just take those cards all the time when you get them. The bad decks are the decks that don't get access to any of that stuff. And we've had plenty of that stuff lately too. And I think that a deck like this it really exemplifies why those decks where you don't get these type of cards really don't have a shot. Because you're like, oh, I curved out. I played a River Croc into a Spider Tank into a Yeti, and then your opponent plays, you know, a 9-mana 60-60 taunt or whatever. And it's like, oh, okay, well, I guess I didn't win that game. I guess I couldn't win that game. Wish I could just hang out in River Chat like I used to. Too busy these days. Life is tough. I saw a clip of a radio station featuring two guys and a female. Spanish translator. They were sharing their story from 30 years ago where they're fishing off the coast. On the way back, they discovered a capsized boat with bodies. But managed to save a little girl. Turned out the translator was that little girl. 30 years later. What the hell? That's crazy. That's a good story, too. But hey, you know, I always say, I'm just glad uh, some of you guys can make it some of the time. Cosmic, Tugboat. Do you think when Char uh, Good Charlotte wrote Lifestyle, Rich and Famous, they were referencing owning a footwall? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. Somewhat likely, I'd say, yes. Song reminds me of Beverly Hills Cop. I've never seen Beverly Hills Cop. Don't judge me too harshly. Um. Hi chat, what's up, Azhag? Should definitely say, and you're thriving. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Hopefully everything's going well, and you are thriving. Yeah, yeah. You want people to leave the channel? You want no you don't want anybody to leave the channel. But if people leave the channel, you want it to be because they're busy with good things in their life. Good job, new wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, kids, traveling, stretching out the inside of their bodies with some sort of new profound yoga regimen. You want something. You don't want people to be like, "Hey, I I have I had to leave the stream 
and you're like, why? And they're like, cause I've been in prison for a long time. And you're like, oh crud, that's not good. Or they're like, you know, I'm dead. Oh fuck, that's the worst. That's not what I wanted. Have you ever watched Dr. House? I ate all eight seasons of that show. What is the eight supposed to be there? Saw? Light? Uh, I watched the first season or two of House when it was on TV back in the day, when you had to wait like every week and they showed it with commercials and stuff. And I remember digging it and then I remembered like the second or maybe the third season. I was like, okay, everybody's got a disease. Nobody knows what it is. Only House does. It's got to spend 50 minutes or for 25. I can't remember how long it was. I think an hour maybe. He has to spend 46 minutes figuring out what it was, being rude to people. And then they're going to know in the last five minutes what it was. I think I can stop watching House now. That's how I felt. Have you ever seen the movie? You would love it. And Beverly Hills Cop 2. I don't know. Never watched that one. In the end, it's probably lupus. No, it's never lupus, but then one episode it was, I guess, is what they say. Or so they say, one episode it's lupus. Mm -hmm. Every time he says I'll never get the demon seed, I think of the song The Seed 2.0 by The Roots, and I want to listen to it. I think that's what that song is called, right? Dun. Um, sure. I don't like guidance here, actually. He could have cycle and, well, we'd be boned. I don't really need the innervate, but I don't really need the mana next turn right now. To be careful not to do that. But um, if we can find uh, germination, that would be a good one, maybe. Partnered assignment to draw extra cards is decent, too. I love the seed. I saw the roots in 2019. Yeah, that song's a banger. And the guy playing the drums, I forget his name. But he's just slamming the skins, man. He's just banging those drums like, well, like he wants to make a loud sound. One of my favorite shows of all time gotta be Breaking Bad. Me too. I think Breaking Bad might be my favorite show of all time. I think, I think Breaking Bad might be just my favorite show. It's pretty short when you kind of, oh man. Oh my gosh. All right, new plan. If I knew I was going to draw that, I wouldn't have overloaded. But I guess it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Um, part of the problem, not a problem, part of the problem is this thing survives and then kind of shrinks after the thing. But if he plays like a 9-9 nine nine or an 8-8 eight eight or something, then it's good. It's Quest Love. That's it. That's right. Quest Love. He's a fucking legend. Yeah, yeah, I knew I knew his name. I didn't know his name, but I knew I would recognize it. Years later, watching an episode was on. I just changed the channel after 10 minutes. It was a good time. I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, um. All right, I guess I'm not as unhappy with a uh, giant Drew to the Plains. So it wouldn't have been big enough to kill it. And this is kind of cool because we actually get a second trigger. So I'm also scratching off my pimple again. I probably shouldn't do that. These are good. I, I might be out of spells now. I'm not sure. But, uh, oh, that's sick. Uh, these are good because it just makes it, you know, that much more likely we draw our, our clowns or our proto or whatever. Or I guess we have a germination still. Germination would have been sick. Season one of Mr. Robot is my favorite. Just that season, no more, no less. I've heard good things. I've never seen that one. Not Breaking Bad. Yeah, I thought Breaking Bad. 
a little bit, just a little bit. The end, um, I think it's that very last episode. No spoilers, but it's just a little. like over the top. It kind of feels a little like it doesn't fit the show. But I, I'll take it. Like it's, it's, I think Breaking Bad is like a 10 out of 10. Abruptly ended? No, the ending itself. Like I think the last shot is perfect. Perfect. But kind of like the last, like, action piece like the whole show is kind of rooted in a in a pretty real sense and then the last one's kind of just like eh like you kind of got to suspend some disbelief a little bit at the very end there what about prison break you know the first season of prison break is very entertaining it is not a good show but season one is really I really love it. I like two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I rewatched. Um, I went back and I was like, oh, I wonder how good Prison Break was. And I watched it and I was floored by how entertaining season one is. And in my mind, season two was pretty good, too. And season three was like a total dump. I got like two episodes into season two or maybe three. And I'm like, this is fart. This is fart soup, man. Season two is so bad. Season one is really just a lot of fun, I think. But I couldn't sit through season two. What do you think of El Camino? Um, I thought if you like Breaking Bad, it seemed very enjoyable to me. I liked Breaking Bad and I enjoyed El Camino. It seemed completely and utterly unnecessary. It changed almost nothing about Breaking Bad and added almost nothing. And Fat Todd was very distracting. I know that was probably an internet meme. I didn't really follow that stuff, but I, I, I'm sure uh, was at least a, a talking point. Fat Todd was very distracting. I, I mean, if you like Breaking Bad and you just wanted like an hour and 35 minute episode of Breaking Bad, that's kind of what it is. But Breaking Bad already had kind of like a perfect ending and it didn't really, I don't know, it didn't to me feel like it left open like, oh, what about this? And then you watch El Camino and I guess thinking about it, my fear, if I had given it a lot of thought, it's got to be better for me right now. My fear would have probably been like, oh man, what if they... What if they put in something that ruins it? They just didn't put anything in. <laughs> you know, it was like nothing. It was nothing. So I was like, oh, okay, cool, sure. Season four is pure insanity. Uh, Breaking Bad? I don't know what that means. Are you saying like, it's good or it's bad or it's stupid or? The Breaking Bad hospital scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that I would say stands out um, as well. As kind of like, uh, like, yeah. It's those those two things I think actually are probably maybe the only things I really think about that like eh, this doesn't really feel like it fits but I watched a, a making of the hospital scene and you can tell like Vince Gilligan was like adamant like this scene is in and this is what we want to do and it's you know it's got a purpose and it's got to be there so yeah whatever it's his show it was really good Hey, fart dog, what's up, dude? We're talking about Prison Break and Breaking Bad. Yeah, season two of Prison Break was rough. I couldn't get through it, and I didn't get far. Good morning, Redbeard, and all your minions. Hey, sir, what's up, dude? Do I watch any Dota 2? Uh, no. For a little while, I was watching some League of Legends. I think it's cool. I, I, I understand how to play the original Dota, but I don't play League, so I, I'm not really like proficient enough to know like what the hell is going on, you know? Not really. But I think it's cool. I, I liked League more because it felt um it felt easier to follow. 
I guess I, I should have done this already, but um, it pulls it puts four power on the board either way. It's a little worse on our mana because we float it, but we'll be able to go seven eight. It's not like we're like hurting for plays. So the hospital scene. I think he means the uh, scene in the nursing home. Breaking Bad is a live action comic book. With a couple of those scenes, I could say yeah, where there's not a ton of like comic booky action, but there are some comic booky action sequences. Is that how he modeled it? Did he did he ever Gilligan ever say anything like that? I enjoy watching competitive gaming even though I don't play. Cool to watch people who are good. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. I was actually watching a YouTube discussion about kind of like human psychology amongst other things. But they were kind of talking about how like like, like people just inherently are gravitationally like attracted to whatever greatness or skill like like that people just watch people playing sports at the optimal level it's just a fascinating thing and people um i don't know what the word is like people um you know appreciate it there's a better word Um, 10. Admire? Yeah, what's it starts with an R? Revile? What's, what does the word revile mean? Is that good or bad? Hmm, no. Revere? Revere. They revere it? That's the word I wanted to use. Oh crap, it's my turn. Sorry. Revile is not good, it sounded bad. Revel? Isn't revere? Did I not? Did I make up a word? Revere? <laughs> a feel, a deep respect or admiration for something. Revere. How have you been? Just waiting to lay down. Never get back up again. Until that time, I'm gonna get up and play Hearth, I guess. It likely is Revere. Well, it is Revere. I'm the one choosing the word. <laughs> God damn it. I just couldn't think of it right away, that's all. I already chose. It's Revere. Drac is back. What up? Draculaic. Drac attack. Dracula. Al. Did you say I'd call you Al or something? Well, I don't want to call you Al. Oh. Oh, oh. That's pretty good. Hmm. He only has eight mana. It's not a word, Red. That's the guy who rode the horse all night. I just call him Paul. We're on a first name basis. You aren't on a first name basis with Paul Revere. I think you won this anyways. What do you mean anyways? Seven, eight, nine, then eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and he has sixteen. We could find lethal. Honestly, it's probably worth looking, right? I think that is lethal. I, I should probably count again. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. If Paul George and Chris Paul got married, Paul George would go by Paul Paul. Would you? 
Yog lethal. Did I get Yog lethal? I should have killed him with Le uh, Yog, huh? You know what's insane? My typing on my phone takes a while, but as soon as I hit send, the data actually physically crosses the country to reach you. I'm trying to imagine how many miles of ocean and internet lines it travels to other countries so they can read this same message. I don't understand how the internet works. I don't get it. I don't understand how technology works. Did you know that I can download a Brazilian fart video at upwards of 25 kilobits per second? It takes me only four days to download a 15 minute video. If Grimes and Elon Musk had a baby, it would be named C3PO. Don't they have a baby name like Delta thing? Um, Elon Musk child name. Wow, Elon Musk is only worth 165.9 billion? What's he doing with his life? I'm still getting bites per second. We're talking about computers, Juicy, not uh, mosquitoes. Say his name, I can't. Most of those are not characters from a language of which I speak. How to pronounce Elon Musk baby. pronounced Ash. Ash is a cool name. Um, can we get an opponent? What's our record? I can't remember. Hey, who's lurking right now? Is anybody lurking? Or is it just Bert and Juicy? While I'm here waiting for this game to begin. Tram, what up Tram? Adonis Sparked Kante. Heaven's Door's been here all night. Give me my opponent. Record is 10 and 1, is it? Merc's lurking. That guy was dropping crazy amounts of subs earlier. We did get 10? I don't want to cancel the queue, but if we can set up the bet now, that would be cool. We're really at 10? I'm trusting Twitch chat. Yes? Anybody else? That was win 10? Okay, thank you. I trust you. Now. Right, so let's, well, we got the queue going. Let's let's bet on twelve, right? All right, uh, twelve games. Uh, I we had started the bet for five minutes. Wouldn't have even started the game yet. Uh, I'll give you guys two minutes on. You can bet on twelve. Will we get there? Will we not? We'll see. You see red when people write your emotes because your prefix is Redbeard. Uh, no. But if they write Redbeard and then Redbeard, then I do see red. Just man's here? Alright, dude, this is enough. Enough is enough here. <laughs> just give me a just give me a two win opponent. If you're lurking, and then comment, acknowledge you lurk. Do you cease to be a lurker? Or is it only for that moment? It's more like who was lurking and now they're out of lurk. Once you're out, you can't go back. Clean shirt today. Well, a new shirt, Lucelia. I have a couple questions for Lucelia. One, this may be inappropriate, but how the heck are you? 
Oh, this shirt is filthy. Uh, it's 100 degrees here still, Luz. I'm fucking sweating here. I'm profusely sweating. Um, did you stream twice today? I thought I was watching. I was actually watching you play Super Mario. I was lurking before my stream. I was lurking in silence, and I was going to see if anybody was talking shit about me. And then I... I don't know, maybe I, I, I don't know, I got some water or whatever. Maybe I went and I grabbed some food, I don't remember. I came back, I started my stream, and then I looked and Lucelia was streaming for... It said not that long. I thought, maybe she ended and then started again. I'm pretty sure you were wearing a different outfit. And it's stream today because Twitch enjoys to take away my quality options. Oh. Oh, like you just ended it and then restarted it? I used to do that. I think they said don't do that, but I didn't actually do that. I would just end sometimes and then remember that I wanted to start a minute later than I actually started. We really can't get a match. What the hell is this? I ended and restarted. Are you not allowed to? I think you're allowed to. I, I was just, as a casual observer of the stream, I was thinking to myself, man, Luce has been fucking streaming like 12 hours or something. But then when I looked, it was like, it only said a few hours. It shouldn't take my quality options. Yeah, that used to happen to me too. A live game. Fucking kill me, dude. Alright, here we go. Probably getting a two and two opponent. <laughs> this is ruining they're ruining my YouTube video. Which, if you're watching and this run does make it on a YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notifications and whatnot. We have uh, how many? 850 subscribers? 850. We just put out a new run uh, 12 hours ago, so you know. Got some more videos coming up for a few days. Hearthstone. What the fuck is this? I must have disconnected this time. Hearthstone, you're ruining the YouTube video. Get better. I think I only did 8.5. 8.5 is tough. I did 8.5 yesterday. I don't like doing 8.5. 8.5 is just a little too big. It's kind of painful. I like a nice, smooth 5. .5. What's your ideal stream time? I like to go in between 7 and 8. I mean, ideally, I stream like 10 minutes. I think I actually disconnected now. But uh, I'd like to stream like 10 minutes. I really did disconnect after sitting in the queue. That's, that's different. I'm getting scammed here. If we did any editing on YouTube, <laughs> we could fix this, but we don't and we won't. Is Hearthstone done? Maybe the game's just gone. It's gone, though. Don't miss your match. That's not how it works, Mr. Hercules. Alright, now we instantaneously get- maybe we got in- Hey, Cat, what's up? I waited eight minutes. I usually don't wait that long. Even at this time, I, my cues are usually just a minute or two. What's my favorite fairy tale? Um... um I don't know. What are my choices? What's a fairy tale? What are fairy <laughs> tales? What are the fairy tales? Like Pocahontas? No, uh, like uh, Cinderella? Is that a fairy tale? Disney movies? Give me a list. <laughs> like the uh, tortoise and the hare? Does um does the Velveteen Rabbit count as a fairy tale? Red Riding Hood? I don't like. Uh, what's that? I don't even know. I've never even heard of fairy tale. I'm getting angry. Like what's the uh, fairy, right, Red Riding Hood goes and gets eaten by a wolf? Is there more to the story than that? It's like does any character have a name or anything? I don't know. I've been connected and disconnected. That has happened to me not for a really really long time, but I disconnected like that once in the past played a game at like 10 or 11 wins, got a win, and then was given a loss. <laughs> Apparently the game I queued into, I lost even though I wasn't playing it. And then... When I won my game, it didn't count because it thought I was in another game. 
Three Little Pigs. I like the Three Little Pigs because it's a lesson in responsibility. You know what I mean, Luz, Celia? You gotta build your house for some bad weather or whatever. I don't know, really. The Three Little Butts, that's my favorite fairy tale. I, I do like the fa Three Little Butts. Or the Three Big Butts, it doesn't really matter. A butt's a butt, as I say. As long as the person behind the butt... Oh man, this would have been sick. Two... Nah, I guess it wouldn't have really mattered. So do I want another... Oh my god, I definitely want another taunt this turn. Because if I can get... I'll play the clowns next turn, I don't give a flying crap. You should modify butt spot to save farts. He's not on brand right now. We used to modify him once in a while. I can't remember. People, like, they liked it, but they didn't like it, you know what I mean? They were like, oh yeah. We demand more butt spot. We demand more dong bot or whoever he was. I think it's greedy to hold it. I don't have a very good play unless I get something from him, but... Let's do this. I'm sorry I'm being so offensive. I mean that... I mean the old lady that lived in the shoe. Oh my god, what did you call her? Uh, yeah, I didn't like that one. Why would you want to live in a shoe? Probably stinks in there. What were the old butt spots? I think we had like dong bot. Pubic bot. I don't know. None of them were, were respectable ad, I remember. I can't mess up, I can't mess up. Where's the lens? Oh, there he is, he's getting doinked in the groin. <laughs> Les, certified gr groin doinker. Um, let's see what we get. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um... This is kind of good for us this turn. If we, uh, if we play the survival next turn. Man, I love having a Les here. Juicy. Lucelia. The rest. I've got a pee. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's interesting because he can trade. He could have got the armor. I don't know if it matters. Juicy is a Whopper. We've got a couple of Whoppers. Say hey, what happened to Serb? Scary Serb. Is he here still? He came in for like a second, like a bolt of lightning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, one more game. Well, one more win, hopefully. I can't help with your HP. I wish I could, but it's all you. I feel like it's it's not in my body anymore. It's actually, it's it's, I gotta go so bad it's at the, it's like in the actual penis. I don't know if that's how it works. That's how it feels. Certainly that's how it feels. Hey, welcome back, Serb. How's work? You've been, um... Was waiting on Bruce Willis anymore? Or Tony Hawk or whoever? What the hell is going on in your life? Hey, Lucelia, are you here still? Look what I got. This is all they had. Go pee, you serial killer. Why would you call me that? Look, two chilling rain. I like when they put them in these little packs. It looks nice. I also have... Mm -hmm. I walked five miles, which is sort of like kilometers. I don't know. Because I wanted to go before it got 100 degrees to somewhere that was open at 8 in the morning yesterday. I also got these. We opened one. We got a pathway. It was cool. 
Chilling lame. Open one, you won't. I'll open it after this run. If you really insist, Alez. Ah, my skin is dry. Oh my god, this pimple. Oh my god. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. Ah. I probably shouldn't have scratched it off 15 times. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That was a mistake. Imagine, like, getting an opponent. <sighs> Stop touching it. I know I should have. That time I forgot it was there, though. You know, it's not fun to just sit here in the damn queue. You're good. 20 times is when you gotta worry. Oh, thank God. Gonna be there soon, though. Mm -hmm. Cancel and try again? We don't need to yet, I don't think. Maybe. Two losses in a row for the no boys. Hey, Nexty, I hope not. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. Hmm. You could have made the Wii by now, I know, right? I'm gonna get up and it's gonna. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. That's fine. Ruin the damn YouTube video. Watch it. Kill me. <laughs> Alright, maybe we actually dis- this is the worst day of my life. Kill me, man. Oh, man, what a life. <laughs> my ear hurts. Oh my god, why? Got an ear infection, very itchy. My sister's been fighting off an ear infection for a while. Since going to Mexico, I think she got pee in her ear. You missed a seven follow. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I did miss that, but I don't read them. She got free pee in the ear. I usually have to pay for that. I know. I appreciate your uh, contributions. Oh my god, just give me an opponent. Dracula. Thanks so much, Drac, for the uh, for the gifted sub. Wow, Axel. Alright, we're in. Now we probably just get dunked by somebody, right? Oh man, my pants are soaked with sweat. It is not good. Are you doing another one after this? Yeah, we'll pour a whiskey and a cola. Alright, I will keep this here, I guess. I don't want to just lose to a bad mulligan, and our and our curve is so heavy that I, I just don't want to, like... I've heard olive oil helps. Olive oil straight to the brain. Oh yeah, we'll pour a whiskey and a cola. S open a Pokemon pack. Do another run. Ooh, that's a good draw. 
don't even have AC. Um, yeah, we were running it. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's only 65 out now, but this room is hot as shit, and I have more um, sweat glands in my anus than apparently a wild bear. Kept the five man elemental? No, no, no. You pitch the five man elemental, then you draw a two, a three, and you get it back for four. Capiche? Catfish? Who do I live with now? My brother and two roommates, but I hope I'm going to be living somewhere else soon. Wild bears actually don't have sweat glands anywhere. What animal has a very sweaty anus then? Can you tell me that? Hmm. A platypus. <laughs> Is that true? All right, whatever. The kookaburra? Do the kookaburra have a very sweaty anal? <laughs> this run might make it onto YouTube. Do they have very sweaty anal glands? I get a six. Six is nice. Do birds even sweat? Um. No. Purely a mammalian feature. Do birds sweat? <laughs> birds don't sweat like humans. They have a variety of unique adaptations to help them beat the heat. How birds keep their cool. Do you want to help us? No. Uh, there's no list. Give me a cool list. Uh, trade there is kind of nice. Oh, that could pull a 10 drop. But could also pull a one drop. All right, let's just do it next turn. And then if we get the 10, we can still play the card on curve. I don't want him to dump his hand and then refill it. How many animals sweat? Dogs don't. I don't know if that was already said. It's a great conversation. <laughs> Viking Prairie Hog has the most sweat glands. I think you made that up. Hey, Carl, thanks for the follow. A real follower. That's great news. A real life follower. Delightfully devilish red beard. Elemental always draws the highest cost spell. You're right. I forgot about that. But what I wanted was to get his divine shield, get my proto, and get my protector. You see? Doesn't it pull the highest cost? <laughs> Some of you guys know how to play Hearthstone well, and others have learned from Redbeard. Irredeemable. Find survival or slam off the protector feels dirty? Yeah. You're damn right it does. Okay. All right. One day I hope to learn what's going on here. I'll, um, well, I whooped everybody, Lucelia. That's what the first thing you need to learn. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, hit the button, hit the subscribe. What we're always trying to do, Lucelia, it's very difficult. Should I get this number to 12? We need to try to win 12 times before we lose three losses or get three losses. Uh, a good run, most of the time, if you get seven wins, uh, you get like what you spent back and and more. You get more like gold and shit. Every time what the numbers on the top left of the cards mean. This deck was silly OP. No, I played it incredibly well. Uh, maybe not actually. I forgot to take a picture. Don't tell Ales. Not a lot of gold. Two packs. I don't want packs. Uh, golden Firebird. I'm fairly certain I already had two Golden Firebirds, but whatever.